I have an issue here. I actually do have. Oh, uh, Warthog coming in over there too. But there was something very interesting over here that I might not be able to miss out on either. Three, very easy. I might have to end up as a bacon food again. Yeah, that guy right there. I really have to get him, and I know it's not gonna be with the recurve, because I'm pretty sure we're not gonna get any integrity for using that on him. But definitely the first level 9 jackal I see. I'm really not happy with having this pig run around over there. Now if we can get a decent shot at this guy, everything should be fine, but I have no idea where he disappeared to. Might be right there. He is indeed. Oh, he is very close, actually. And I have an issue with all this vegetation right in front of him. Might have to do something that I really don't want to do. He took off? Did he actually just take off? I think he did. This time I'm actually genuinely excited about a potential diamond. A level 9 side striped Jackal. Should be pretty easy to track him down if he decides to go up the hill somewhere. We're gonna go after him. Didn't seem to come back yet at least and we have been sitting around for a little. So all of a sudden this turned really interesting and that War the hog over there does seem to be leaving us alone. Yeah, we got run tracks right here, so he did take off. I want to see if we can get some somewhat fresh tracks of him. Should be easy to get the most recent ones. These ones over here is run, so I'm pretty sure that might be the ones that we are looking for. Yes, it is. I see him out there in the distance. He is right there. I could actually just try to take this shot. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do that on a level 9, are we? It's just silly. Should have a pretty good visual of where he is gonna go from here. Oh, wow. Straight into this. Not too happy with that, honestly. But we should be okay. I'm gonna push him out on the other side and then we should have him stop somewhere before he makes it all the way up to the top of the hill, actually. He actually went up here. So me trying to outsmart him completely played myself. Look at the wind. It is still just now. Pretty sure he's not gonna make it that far away, but if we can get up here and he's actually gonna turn somewhere or something like that, we might be in very good shape because we can pretty much watch all the way around. This is actually a thing that I do pretty often when I have big animals. I try to get them in a position where I clearly have the advantage. And most of the time it is actually just running with them as much as possible. Until I can see, well, he, this is going to be good for the next 300 meters. And then I'll try to settle down, make them feel a little at home and then take the shot. Right there he is. Exactly what we wanted to see. Pretty much get them out into the open areas. I mean, I could go for the shot. It is just somewhat far. 150 meters, it should be doable, but um, we have a caller. Wind is not the best, but I suppose we can work with it. Especially if we go a little more to this side. See if he gets interested in the call. 
might not actually it's just a perfect side for the two four three if we can get him to stub i'll go for that double long shot from here that really should drop him to be honest could you stop please that doesn't work stop please thank you And he dropped right on the spot. Whew, that was an important shot. Now, I know it seems ridiculous to a lot of people that I run around as much as I do, but if you get them out into areas like this, it might take a little longer or something like that, but you will nearly always have the advantage. If you have an open area like this where you can actually see what is going on so far in front of you, we spotted this guy out in about 200 meters away. And we could just follow him and then we got presented with a perfect broadside shot. I really do hope my consecutives are good. And it's a diamond. 9.55. Wow. This was actually one of the ones that I really thought would be so hard to actually get a diamond off. But uh, yeah, this started out as a recurve hunt and ended up being a legendary sidestripe jackal hunt.